started. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, anybody who was here with me this morning? Oh, well, well, we had a few people. Good. Some folks hanging out through the whole day. Great. This session is going to be focused on microwave ovens. And uh, my name is Jim Johnson, by the way, for those of you who I didn't get an opportunity to meet this morning. I'm from Tucson, um, originally from Erie, Pennsylvania. I spent some time in the appliance business there before I moved on to Tucson. Um, worked in a trade school and now work at a community college. Uh, so I, 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 like I told everybody this morning, this is kind of nice because when you're working as an administrator in a community college, you don't often get an opportunity to get into a classroom. As a matter of fact, I kind of get kicked out on a regular basis, you know. I just, they, they keep telling me I don't belong in there. But um, at any rate, um, this, fo this, this particular uh, session is going to focus on what I call the basics of microwave ovens. And when I was in the appliance business, I, w I worked as an independent for uh, just, oh, just under 10 years um, and working full line. One of the things that always fascinated me was <laughs> the fact that people would have a microwave oven in their kitchen and be deathly afraid of it at the same time. I, I always thought that that was really very interesting. Um, as time went on, even after I, I, I got to work in a trade school and, I, and I'd meet people and, and do classes in appliance repair and, and maybe even meet some of the staff there who were working there, people who were uh, electronics instructors, people who were, uh, didn't matter whether they had a doctorate in education, didn't make any difference what their level of experience or education was, they all carried some really strange myths about microwave ovens. I mean, we all heard the stories, right? You know, it's kind of like the snake in the coat at Kmart. You remember that one? You know that one, the story that went around for all those years? And then when microwave ovens got real popular, what happened? There was the myth about the, uh, I, as a matter of fact, it was allegedly it happened in Texas, right? Where the kid put the cat in the microwave and it exploded and that sort of thing. Um, I never, never really read any documentation, but it was a great story. Uh, and then there was the, um, the babysitter who allegedly got high and, and put the baby in the microwave and they didn't know what was going to happen to that poor little child and all those terrible stories, um, and they go on and on. And even today, I still find people, consumers, I'm talking not technicians, I'm talking about consumers, um, who have some strange ideas about microwave ovens and, and, and the, the things 